and welcome to Deer Park Esports Smash Brothers Tournament. Yes. It is the third week and we're in. I am your host, Dona, and my co-host, Mr. Fletcher, and we are bringing you esports, like we said. So any any opinion what, what we're going to go into? Uh, I'm not sure how much we've been rotating around. Man, we're about to start right now. Let's go ahead and switch it over. Yeah. I don't have much time for that. They're ready to go. So that's yeah. my opinion. People are raring to go now. We're in the thick of the season. Yeah. Getting ready to play some games. All right, we got a DDD versus Zero Suit. Our student Steven's playing Zero Suit here. DDD uh, is a very heavy character, but somehow a little bit floaty <laughs> at the same time. Would you yeah, say? he's got the multiple jumps. Um, it's very interesting seeing DDD being played. Um, but Samus is a faster character. Yeah. Very. F I could not play Zero Suit Samus myself. That character is way too technical. Um, DDD's got some surprisingly cool things that he can do. Yeah. Uh, I used to play Brawl a lot, and he, he was really bad then, so it's yeah. cool seeing how he's changed. Yeah. Uh, and isn't Brawl the one that was on the Wii U? Yeah, oh, it was on the Wii. The Wii. Well, I played the one that was on the Wii U, and my favorite character was Samus. Oh, At yeah. that point in time, I never knew Samus was a girl, so... I went <laughs> because to the you thought it was like Master I went to the coolest looking one, and I chose Zero Suit <laughs> Samus. Or not Zero Suit Samus, Samus in general. And, but on the Wii, it, the grab was very broken, in my opinion. The grab is long range. As long as you can hit the button multiple times, the grab will last as long as mm. you want it to. This is already turning out to be an interesting match. Pretty evenly challenged here. Ooh. ZSS is doing a good job dodging those Gordos. Those are going to be tricky. Oh, okay. Ooh. Bad all taunt. the taunts. <laughs> all right. Seems like games are being very. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Samus needs to put in a smash tag, and that would be an easy stock off of DDD. What wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, a good hit from ZSS here, even like a up B or something, will get rid of that DDD. I'm really looking for these up Bs here. That's ZSS's bread and butter. Team D's not going to let it happen, and ZSS is going to take more mm. percentage off, looking for some kind of launch power. We got some taunts back and forth. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Grab. D -d 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 oh, he canceled wrong. I mean, he was at such high percentage there, but. Yeah. And even with the equal taunt back. <laughs> taunt Ooh, Man, that Steven ran into, into that. that one. Yeah, hold it for so long. ZSS is looking for these combos here. Not enough aerials. Okay. Was able to deflect the Gordo. Oh, get swallowed. The saga is dangerous. ZSS knows to stay away from that hammer. But. He knows when to sh that block those hits and oh, oh, was that was it? he's try back that spiky ball thing. Yeah, it just kind of falls on the ground if he doesn't get a chance to launch it. Yeah, I haven't seen a DD. I don't think we have seen a DD player at all this. Not yet. Yeah, this is our first one that we've seen. None of our play. Oh, it's <laughs> every time with these Gordos, man. That one hits though. Ooh. Ooh, nice combo from Zero Two Samus. Yeah, just the forward, forward air. Oh, nice one. That's what ZSS is looking for. These paralyzes Ooh. and those forward smashes. Ooh. It's hard to get when the Gordo is blocking all the paralyzing, though. Ooh. Forward air knocks. ZSS back. Let's see if Gordo can. Gordo. <laughs> there it is again. Constantly lashing back to Gordos. Uh, Don't walk into it again. Oh, that was a close one. And he learned from his mistake. Yeah. And, oh, wow. Here's Samus oh, there it is. Run. That's a kill. You can tell Zero Suit Samus is trying to run circles around DDD. Well, she's scared of that high percentage right there with how hard DDD hits. Anything can be a kill. Isn't he like one of the uh, like fourth strong, harder hitting characters? Uh, I'm not sure about the number, but he's up there playing that heavy character. Yeah. That hammer hits can do a lot of launching power. But and there it is. Yeah, but the mobility of DDD is very threatening how, how many jumps he can do. Yeah, I mean, his recovery is very good. He's got man, Ooh. not right there. It doesn't the, look like the it's very good. The recovery did not help him at all. All right, ZSS looking for these combo aerials here with DDD at low percentage. And Ooh. he takes the rocket hammer to the face. Oh, armor lock. Was that an armor lock where you get stuck in the ground? Like uh, that? You could call it that if you want. I'm not sure what the technical term for it is. I, I like armor I, lock, I, though. I, I think I've been told. There we go. That's what I wanted to be seeing from the ZSS here. That aerial combo right there. Yeah. A lot of this aerial Ooh. game. It's what, oh, man. This is the recovery. It's, that's the tough part for DDD. If he can't get the horizontal, he's just off the stage. Man, simple geometry would help you out a lot right now. <laughs> Stupid crap. Yep, there we go. Nah, it stuns him. 
Nice aerial oh, combo. Put stool here. Oh, and cancels that hammer. Forward smash. Oh, Jesus S. Wasting a point there. Was trying to go for a kill confirm. And. Oh, watch the Gordo back. There it is. Great, back and forth, back and forth. Them. Oh, nice air one from ZSS here. One good hit from Zero Two Samus and ZSS. Oh, out there it is. Nice shot. And a win for Deer Park. That was that was a very quick game. That was a good game. Good match there. I, Interesting I, seeing ZSS being played by Steven. I hadn't seen it until just now. So. Yeah. Uh, but like we said multiple times, um, like we said multiple times before. Uh, Banta has no has a, no DLC rule. Yes, yes. Uh, Steven used to play Joker a lot. Yeah, he he's Joker is really good. Probably one of the best we've seen. Um, but still, you could you could see these weird. You see our DLC players change up and do different characters like yeah. that. Yeah. Makes the it, really, it shows you how long they've been playing. And yeah. It shows you like <laughs> they can pick up other characters kind of quickly. I mean, they might have had them in their pocket for some time, but it definitely wasn't their mains before. Yeah. Um, what do we got playing right now? Oh, and we're back to the screen. We have and which which of our students is playing Captain Falcon here? Ignis. Oh, is that Cody? Are you playing? Okay, we have our student standing up and playing, so he's ready to go. That multitasking <laughs> from no Cody. Chair. He All has right, the energy. Captain Falcon versus Little Mac. This will be interesting to watch some clashes happen. What? Why don't you just hand it to us? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> We're getting. It's a, other than a Whopper, I'll take anything. All right. We're starting the match here. Hey, Captain Falcon already got the little Mac a couple times. Thank you. Hit 23% must have missed. There's a kick here 33, 42. Oh, this is weird Long. seeing a little Mac in <laughs> the colors. Our little Mac. We yeah. Use these colors. Here's, oh. Here's the back and forth that I'm looking for here in this match. They're on PS2 here, so these recoveries will be interesting to see happen. Yeah. Oh, Captain Falcon looking for the big ones. Our, our person playing uh, as Falcon is Cody, and he played last week, and he is pretty good. Yeah. His Captain Falcon solid, knows all the tricks. Oh, but, but it'll be interesting to see if we get any Captain Falcon angles, uh, ankles here with uh, Little Matt. But, oh, did he just waste his KO? Yeah, he did. He missed it. Uh, I would say oh, that okay. Little Mac, I would say Little Mac has that KO, and you can do something, but he wasted it. Captain Falcon, oh, now that he's getting... Funny number. <laughs> Sorry. Captain uh, Falcon's getting at oh, that high percentage. Playing a little bit scared now. He knows Little Mac can hit him hard if he makes too much of a mistake. He's playing very cautious, but also yeah. striking when he needs to. Yeah, trying to play safe. No smash attacks. Hitting for the dashes. Going for nice the grabs. One. Perhaps aerials. Oh, there oh, it is. Nice. One, two from Little Mac. Captain Falcon's looking to reset here. Oh, can he? Oh, nice spot dodge. Couldn't quite capitalize on that. Ooh. But oh, in this situation, the grab. I, who's the hard, a heavy hitting character in this situation? Uh, Little Mac will hit a lot harder. Captain Falcon's got a lot more combo potential. Uh, but also, when it comes to like open areas like uh, P2, Little Mac is very good at going back and forth. Yeah, that momentum. Well, they're both going to be fast. I think Little Mac will be a little bit faster, especially the back and forth. Um, yeah. Captain Falcon can close distances, though. Yeah, being but it's, there's a launch. Little Mac's aerials are not that Ooh, good. Ooh, left of those counters. Okay. Ooh. Nice grab there from yeah, Falcon. You there it is. Oh, and denies nice. him. Denies him. Kills him such at a low percentage. What These ankles are what I'm looking for from this Captain Falcon. Student Cody playing him. That was a game. Let's see if Cap Little Mac definitely does not want that to happen to him again. Oh. Captain Falcon's looking for the grabs to throw him back. Oh, but also Falcon's at a high percentage, and that's a very cautious move. That, yeah. That Falcon doesn't want to commit to him too much. Going for more aerials cost. now, and it seems to be working in his favor. Ooh. Little Mac looking for some strong hits, just wants to get that kill. Try and Ooh, bring it back. Nice hit. Good oh. launch. Doesn't well, quite kill. recover without Little Mac messing him up. Oh, we'll see nice a bit recovery. of ledge game here. We'll see who wins out. Captain Falcon with the dodge. Oh, nice block. Oh, Captain Falcon, oh. he knows he's got a little Mac on that L edge. Wants to get a grab to throw him off, get another ankle. Low percentage right. kill. Oh, he's trying to go for it. It's a back and forth here. Little to get a smash attack, and that's an easy. Oh, oh okay. That's the KO, too. Oh, almost got the spike there. That would have been good. And there we go. Man. That's the four smash. A four to two in Deer Park's favor. All right. This is a game he likes seeing, don't Captain we? Falcon's probably feeling pretty confident in here. He might make some mistakes at such a high percentage, but it might not too matter Ooh, too much. Oh, and that's a jab. Yep. But he's at high percentage, and one good move from Lil Mac, and that, that's it. 
That, that, one thing I'm noticing, up. this Little Mac's not using his up special too much, at least compared to the Little Mac that we have on our team. So uses that up special. Yeah. Oh, there we and go. there it is. There is that attack we've been waiting for. Cody needs to get... I think Cody has the upper hand here, and if Cody keeps his offensive good, then yeah. this might be an easy win. Could be. We're, we got about a minute and a half left. Anything can happen. This is still a close game, even with one Ooh, stock nice up. Rabbit jab. Yeah, that was a good spot dodge and jab there. Good setup. Oh, man, calling these little Mac hits very well. Good knee, launches oh, VAR, doesn't quite make the ledge the game. game. Oh, oh, he has his KO. Oh, oh man, he there it. he is. There's the launch. He's going for the ankle. There it is. Oh, and there we <laughs> go. What a move from Falcon. Come on. Can he get it in? Falcon wants the win here. We got a lot Show of excitement him. from the crowd here, shouting all kinds of different strategies. Let's Count go, Falcon's Cody. looking for the grab again, wants to get the third ankle this game. Little Max oh. playing a little bit too close to the edge for my liking. Oh, he's got the counters. Ooh. Funny thing is, is I think Little Max is looking for these counters, but he can't can quite do it with how Captain Falcon is moving. Man. Can't there's risk the those grab. Oh, oh, there's a the KO punch. The KO. It's okay, right. it's okay. Can you go can you go in for the you got twenty seconds left? 20 seconds Captain in. Falcon decides to time out, or if he wants this last kill, little max at a high percentage. There's the grab. Oh, that launch is good. Here's the ankle. There yeah! it is! <laughs> Cody with the win, a two stock advantage. Yeah. That was that was a fun game to watch. Two stock advantage last game too, puts that Steer Park at very high point total here. Oh my god, that was a game. What's what's up? It's like now that was a game to, <laughs> oh. That was a fun one to watch because you, you could see you could, every time Captain Falcon was going for it. And you could hear the excitement <laughs> in the room, and, and it was a lot. That little Mac um, couldn't do too much against those grabs. I think he probably played a little bit too much of a ledge game than he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Captain Falcon was really pulling him yeah. into it, though, so it's hard not to. Yeah, we, can, we can probably get uh, our captain, the uh, person who played Captain Falcon over here if, we, if he wants to. Uh, yeah. Right, right there. Hey, Cody. 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 <laughs> Are you playing again? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Playing his third game. All right. Well, maybe we'll get a post-match interview for two games then. Oh, two games. All right. We'll see who our opponent is here. It, I'm excited. <laughs> I That was a exciting game. The energy. Sure. It, was, it seemed very one-sided. The energy in no this room is Audio good, at all. Sure. But still, you can hear the audio. That was easy. Yeah. Oh. And here we are. Oh, a Fox. Fox and Captain Falcon. This is a classic duo here. Um, Fox is, that at this point, has the better range with that little pistol, but it doesn't do that much damage. Fox is going to have a lot more combo potential against um, Captain Falcon than the little Mac did, especially a lot of more aerials. And yeah. with Battlefield, with these ledges here, these aerials are going to be the key for the match, I think. And here we go, and this again. Oh, very cautious beginning. Um, Fox's horizontal recovery is very good compared to Little Max, so these ankles on the ledge might Ooh. not be too consistent. This is the rapid jab. Oh, and that combo was very quickly done. Seems like this Fox knows what he's doing. Yeah, Fox knows what's coming out the fastest here in these matchups. But I think our Falcon can keep, it looks like he's keeping up weekly. Oh, <laughs> equally <laughs> up. pace. I think what we want to see from more some more specials from Captain oh, Falcon nice here. From Perhaps a Falcon kick or two. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I, I'm it. not a Fox main. I did not know that recovery was possible. All right. Is, is, ooh. What was that? You saw him dash across the screen. Yeah, that's got uh, Fox's side B or uh, side special. Okay. That's what I meant by that horizontal recovery. It's going to be hard to get these ankles or these spikes if Fox can do that. His up special oh. is good recovery, ooh. too. Man, that's a big High launch percentage there. And one good hit. From Falcon, send him out. Send Fox out, because Fox is a very light character. Yeah, so some hits from Captain Falcon will kill Fox a lot more easily here. That might be what our Captain nice. Falcon needs here needs to do. But Falcon's at 125. Yeah, Ooh. there it is. Those Fox aerials hurt. You can see the mobility on this Fox is very fast. So I think... But, oh! Ooh. Knocked him out of the smash. There it is. Okay. There reset go. here. Yeah, it's pretty good reset. Four. And this is this is a fun game to see here. Yeah, this is a very close Ooh, game. Nice rapid jab for Fox. This Fox knows those forward airs coming right off the ground. Didn't ledge guard him too much. I'm, I'm seeing less and less ledge guarding. With these characters, it's very tricky. Um, Captain Falcon wants it. He knows he can get some early kills with it, but Fox is going to be able to deny it every time. Yeah. 
that that side. I think this Captain Falcon needs to focus more on these aerials, like right here, and for the strong smash attacks, get the yeah. launches on Fox. Yeah, you're, that's gonna be right. the fastest kills. You're right on that point. Oh, oh there it is, nice just hit. like that. That was a pretty low percentage kill compared to what we were at last time. So Captain Falcon's now taking the lead here. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Uh, Captain like Falcon side special. If it hits towards the end, he launches at the ground. Ooh, uh, couldn't capitalize on that ankle there. And got the nice jabs again. Jab. We're seeing a lot of rapid jabs. Oh, and, oh. oh no! Wow, that could have been close. Nah, I, I, for a second, I thought Cody, I thought the Falcon messed up there for a second. Fox tried to do it, couldn't quite do it. He has to be careful playing these aerials. Oh, these recoveries he are scary. And we got a little lag on our side, but so especially with oh, oh. there it is. It's funny seeing such two technical characters that do very good tech deaths or ledge kills. They're having to rely on launching powers here because yeah. their skill levels are so equal in these characters. And they have to realize that also one's lighter than the other, so Falcon can abuse that. Yeah, Falcon that. will hit harder against the lighter character. So I, I, yeah, you're right. Falcon needs to abuse that fact here. Much like Ooh. that, we keep on saying it every time it happens. What? Every time we talk about Falcon looking for like some stronger hits, it happened. It happened the past two times. Yeah. Falcon Falcon is reading these characters well and he's doing it really well. And this is Ooh. Deer Park Ome this is our Omega team. Oh man, anything can happen here. There's it's still Did quite Steven, an equal uh, game. Did Steven win the first game? Yes. So so far could this could be a three win victory for the Omega team for Deer Park. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Captain Falcon's kinda taunting at this point, it feels like. He's getting shot the laser. Falcon punch it instead. Oh, hi. Might not work in his favor though. Falcon needs to stop that taunting <laughs> and start start doing some KOs. Ah, he doesn't know what to do. This fox is so fast with his aerials. He's having to spot dodge and shield and gets grabbed as a result. Thrown around. This fox wants to, the socks Ooh. equal. Can't quite get the killing power. Looking for some aerials to do so. Oh, and he tried to deny him that lead. He's at, oh, this might be it. Oh, okay. Fox misses the gap. Oh, Ooh. now Falcon runs into that jab there. Thought it ended too early, maybe. Cap Falcons looking for a back air or something. Wants to try and get Ooh. a kill in, to launch some power in, set some distance, and there. we're reset here. 45 seconds left. We're both at two stocks. And that's Cap Falcon landed. get a good kill here. We might go to sudden death. The probability of a sudden death is very high, considering these two players and how they play. Oh, another rapid jab from yeah. Falcon. Getting that damage in. Oh, that dash attack right there was really nice. He's looking for a spike. Wants to get it. Oh, there it is. There Every time, those past three kills have been from that up smash. What that Fox a game needs to be careful about walking did. in. Let's see if Fox can pull out a final quick stop. With oh. how Fox doesn't have too much. Um, but you see Cody trying yeah. to run out the clock. <laughs> He's running out the clock here. Running away from that Fox. The speed here. Speaky, sneaky little Fox. Is trying Fox to... is really hitting with those aerials. He's trying to build up damage. Trying to get a good forward smash or something. Oh, oh, oh and good tech deck. We got here. sudden death. Nice. And Cody wins. The Omega team has three wins under their belt right off the bat in the first game. Deer Park is on a good lead right now. And for a very good first three matches. It's very nice to see some close matches here. Yeah, it's instead of any very kind of nice to see that right off the bat. But I think Omega team is another team to look out for as a team to look out for for Smash this week. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah I mean that was an interesting lineup. We had a what was it? DDD. Um, oh, what was the second one? I oh, Little Mac and Fox. This is, that's a very interesting lineup. Um, it's fun now, to watch. Those yeah, three characters was, are very different that, from each other. That was other. a lot of fun to watch and yeah. see it play out. And that was. A, I can't wait for the next team to go up. And yeah. Who do you uh, think is up next? Well, let me go find out. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go organize I'll that. entertain you, Pete. Wait, what's up? Oh, uh, it's entertaining. Okay, yep. Yeah. Cody. And now we got confirmation that the person who played Falcon the two times is playing. Hello, hello. Oh. Seems like... That is an unofficial game going on right now. So, you have any? Uh, how did you feel about those two games? Uh, I was confident about the first one. The second one was too close for comfort. Yeah, yeah I, I could tell because F Fox was giving you a run for your money that quickly. What did you say? The first two socks I felt fine. It wasn't until the third where I actually felt I was getting in danger because he was starting to read my movement. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, I don't know the game too well, but seeing that game was very fun to watch. And 
the rapid jabs were very numerous and it, were you trying to edge guard most of that time trying to get that yes i was trying to edge guard him especially with my up tilt because that's a free uh meteor smash but the way fox recovers is under the stage which is a little hard for me to go under because i have to jump off back air and i'm not comfortable with that too much because fox can just let go of ledge and jump back down okay causing me to get that, killed instead okay but that little Mac game, seeing that, that was, you, you denied him every time. Didn't give him a chance to play at all. I'm more comfortable with a little Mac matchup because edge guarding him is a lot more easier than it would be a Fox. Yeah. Because little Mac's recovery is below par, especially with him having to go from below the ledge to right under. Uh, and if he goes from the side, he's forced to side special, which is an automatic free, free up tilt for me. Okay. Um... Uh, I was about to say, uh, but Fo Fox was the lighter character, so you had every opportunity to knock them out if they're at a decent percentage. Absolutely. But, I, I'd say about 70% is when I could just up tilt him, or uh, up smash him, and he would. Uh, also, um, that, that that Lil Mac wasn't too good on the KO punches. You he hit me with one KO punch, because I air dodged a little bit too early, I would mm -hmm. say. But what his mistake was he... He used the KO punch as soon as he got it, and I was in front of him, okay. not expecting me to either spot dodge or dodge behind him. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But you had the aerial advantage. You were very, oh, very acrobatic absolutely. character. But Will Mac had that, that, that air, the bigger stage, so he can get that running down. But Will mm -hmm. Mac is only good when he's on the stage from right here, like he's grounded on the ground and hitting. Got it. Nothing else, but yeah. Other than that. that it was weird seeing that Lil Mac uh, with those colors, cause our one of our people, Tristan, he plays that. Oh little, yeah, he plays Lil Mac with that color. So it was like, wait, is Tristan playing today? Tristan on my team. Tristan is on my team, and his play style is very similar, except Tristan knows when to wait, especially with his KO punches, mm. and he knows how to recover. Yeah. Well, and now we're going to a game. Is I, what team is this? Um. I think this is a friendlies. This is the. This is uh, the beta team, and Landon is going up first with Luigi, and this is a Shulk. I've said, uh, I've said this about Luigi. Uh, Luigi's, it's, it's, when we got inside that Luigi is on the on losing hand on this, on the matchup. I was gonna say that Luigi's moves are very predictable, but you can very modular in a way, so you can use them any way you want, to a point. Now, who do you think is gonna, who do you think is gonna win this? Game, in your opinion, right off the bat. Uh, from what I'm seeing right now, I think it's an even match. But I, I'm aware that Luigi has a less of a matchup because Shulk easily outranges him. Oh, because yeah, he's a sword user and absolutely this he gets the speed buffs and the jump boost. Mm -hmm. But our Luigi player is pretty good for Luigi. I have not seen a Luigi player that good. Shulk out with the smash, looking for the kill. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Oh, a little lag there. Luigi trying to edge guard. Nice. Ooh, nice hit. Five to four and Deer Park Saber. Ooh. Oh, and takes it right back. Shulk right into Smash and swiping him off the stage. Man, this is going to be a very even game, like you said. It seems like a very even game at the moment, which is good. But hey, when it, if, it go, if it's going to go at this rate I'm seeing now, Luigi's going to win, in my opinion. He's gonna win, but if the stock goes, both players are trading very equally. Yeah. So, but if the trade patterns the same as just now, Luigi is probably gonna win. But who knows what happened? Because Shulk has those, what are those like abilities to change its stats? Like, wh like what are those called? What happened? What are those little things that he can change? Oh, his Monado speed? art. His Monado arts. Ah. So I heard one gives him like a a really good shield that he can't mm -hmm. he can't break. But only lasts like five seconds from right here. Yep. So Shulk has shield, speed, Ooh. jump, smash, and buster. Nice edge guard. Ooh. Ooh. What? So Shulk with the smash attack increases his launch distance, but 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 reduces his damage. Ah, well, okay. Buster increases damage, but reduces uh, launch. Oh, okay, okay. So we see here Shulk is trying to get the the damage increase on Luigi. Then going for the smash and do that easy attack. That's okay. usually the strat oh. right there. There you see it. 
Oh, oh going to shield. Luigi no, just... trying to find an aggression towards him. Ooh. Ooh. What a move. It's countered. Could this be the first loss for Landon here, or Luigi? Because so far this whole season, he's he's won almost every single of his games. And I've, in the preseason, he was uh, almost getting a almost got a clean wipe without losing a stock. Now, I, from what we've seen, we only have had one in our team. That was Sam who did it. But still. Mm. Oh. What, what would you say that little tornado was? Was that a rapid jab or? Like Which one? Ra rapid jab was where you just do multiple hits at once, but you're staying in one position. For Falcon or for Luigi? In general, like, because all characters have that, but it all looks different. Rapid jabs are good on stage, like middle stage, but then if they have a three-hit move, so for Falcon, for example, his neutral attack changes based on how fast you press it. Yeah. If you rapidly press it, it turns into rapid jab, mm -hmm. which is good for middle stage to get that damage increase. Yeah, yeah. But... If you time, oh wow! Ooh, what up? Was that an up smash? That was no, yeah, that was his up special. Oh, up special. Was that an up you would say? Mm -hmm. So yep. as I was saying, uh, ooh. Ooh. nice trade there. Falcons. If you time it, second per second, it turns into a, a knee kick, which has a higher launch rate. Oh, okay. So it depends on your spacing. Is is when I'd say uh, a multiple jab is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, both players at 25%. That's oh, 69, 29. Ooh. Oh, it's gone. Luigi down. Oh, Luigi with the parry. What is that little tornado move he does? What, what, that's his down special. That's his down special. It can be used to mix up very easily. Okay. Oh, nice swipe there from Shulk. And it seems this is very one-sided in Shulk's favor. And Ooh. oh, and nice. That's gonna be hard for Luigi to recover from. Okay. Could he deny him? Ooh. Oh, what was that? Right at the edge of the map. Oh, oh and Shulk gets that win. Now, seeing that game, PHS has a very good select of players. And look at this. PHS does seem to have a lot of decent players. Yeah. Uh, not good enough to beat the the Omega team, which is your team. Absolutely. Uh, but no, this is Landon's first game of the day, so it, it, it's decent work. It happens, yes. We all have our games. Yeah. There's not much you can say about it. All you can and do from, is learn. And from what I'm hearing, Landon's going up again. From what I'm hearing. and But also, that, that was a very... It was one-sided. Most one-sided games are very quick and short, but that was very drawn out. Yes. In a way. Like, Luigi was trying to keep that distance away from that shulk the whole time and why not also to the people who are watching uh cody here is actually the person who get who did all the transition stuff for the stream oh. so all the fancy transitions you see this man right here created yes i am the one that did the overlays for dphs esports yeah they're really good and we're in now we have a luigi and, and a, a fa and a, a wolf, wolf. Yes. So, Wolf's play style is very similar. Uh, other than his... He doesn't have that little pistol or something? His pistol has stutter. So if oh. you get hit by it, you actually cancel. But he also has a shorter up special, but a spiking side special. Which so, is angled. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're seeing this matchup, who do you think has the upper hand now? Luigi or, the, or Wolf? From... Here, I would not know, because I do not know the matchup of Luigi too much. Uh, Luigi is very... He, he's a very good Luigi. So far, it's the best Luigi I've seen. That might change in the future, but at this current moment, that's the best thing I've... He's the best. Oh, I gotta... Hold on. I gotta head out. You thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, Cody. Now... Now... Like, Cody had to go for a second. No, I was saying you had to go. Now we see here, this... Uh, yeah. Now, who do you think has the upper hand here in this game? 
I saw the first Luigi 30 seconds, and it seems like Luigi's doing a pretty good job here. Who do you think is going to win Luigi or Wolf? I hope it's Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has those days where they can't do that good, but... Well, that last match between Luigi and Shulk was a tough one. Yeah. Um, it, seemed, it, was, it seemed it was very one-sided. From the, uh, Our resident match. expert, Michael, was telling us it's a bad matchup for Luigi. He was telling me earlier yeah. that even if like the Shulk on a school level was like... Not as good as Luigi Shulk still has an advantage there. Yeah. Oh. Oh man. I thought he failed the recovery there. It got me worried it's, for a second. Oh, Ooh. nice one. What a quick hit that was. But Luigi has that 100, so he can easily. Nope. Oh, oh, a little lag there. First lag of this match, I think, right? Last match had quite a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Getting those up tilt combos into each other. Okay. Edge guarding. Oh, nice one. That was a good forward air by Luigi into that launch off the ledge. Oh, did you see that taunt? You yeah. You might hear taunt duty damage. Well, for Luigi's little kick taunt, it can. Yeah. Um, Most taunts can do damage, and apparently from I don't here, if you, I think only if you do that little, that little kick from right here, is a, it does a lot of damage, but it has to be, you have to hit it just right. Yeah, I think it has like oh. a, some kind of critical hit. Man, and the fair recovery. Wolf denying that recovery there. Yeah, that, that Got some back and forth here. I think Luigi has learned from that, and now he's going to take advantage of Ooh, what a nice. Luigi's definitely got a good stock advantage here and good percentage advantage. We'll see if Wolf can catch back up. Wolf's playing a little bit safe here, trying to get in some light hits. Wolf's aerials are very strong. He wants to get a spike in for a quick kill to try and catch up, I think. These combos coming for Luigi are very precise. They're trying. Yeah. If they connect, they're very... Very this dangerous. Luigi's got things that work out for him, and he's not letting them go. Oh! oh. What? That wow! Read was that roll there. Cut that forward smash. Yeah. Sorry, I got a random message, and I am gonna quickly respond. So, fill in for a second. I think this wolf's looking for another blaster kind of de recovery denial here. He knows he's behind. Oh! That was scary. That wolf was able to ca catch himself there. Hello. Spike. This wolf's. Oh man, that whirlwind wolf can't get through it. Oh! Ooh. Good one by Luigi. What there. was that? That was I Luigi's heard. up special. Some very was, it well, was it well placed, would you say? Um, Yeah, I Ooh, think so. There was so much movement. That <laughs> combo from Luigi. Luigi's That's doing that. work into here. I think he's trying to get his revenge from the first game. Yeah. Oh, and he's going for the Oh, great. man, he's keeping, push. does not let Wolf back onto the stage. Nice one. What a game from Lander. The one, Four wow, that zero. was some points recovery there. If, this fancy if platform. Wolf didn't do that. If we that didn't see that stutter there from uh, Wolf's pistol, then it would have been a clean white probably. Well, it was funny because as soon as I sat down, you asked me who you think's going to win. It was a 4-4, four, four, probably a little bit of an equal game. Maybe Luigi had a yeah. bit of an advantage, but Luigi just popped off and just didn't make any mistakes there at the end. Yeah, that, that, was, that, that was relentless of an attack from Luigi, and, yeah. that, and that was something I like to see. No, as a person who just watches the game, these are fun games to watch, and, and I like seeing these win for yeah. part. It's I'm nice to be here in the third week where it feels like a lot of the matches are very equal um, instead of any blowouts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Our Let's see if we can get Michael over here. Uh, not Michael. Um, Landon over here. Landon! We'll see if the winner of that last match wants to talk about his first loss and his second win. <laughs> you want to you commentate in? Oh, he's oh, got to go. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, Quick comment. He has to go. As he gets closer to 515 right. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. They're bringing out a Luigi. Oh, Ooh. let's switch it up. Yeah, it's Luigi versus Bayonetta, or our student Michael yeah. playing Bayonetta. But now they've got their own Luigi. I'm curious to see his different play styles with Luigi. How this might have worked. Bayonet. I have not seen Michael use Bayonetta, but knowing Michael, he's going to be pretty good with it. It's one of, he definitely likes to play a lot more of the technical characters, especially um, this isn't a DLC character, but it feels like one. Yeah. Man, that Luigi's Luigi not letting him do any fancy. <laughs> with this kind of with this Bayonetta here, we're looking for like fancy little kind of combos like that, but that Luigi seems to know what's up. Hits him with the up smash. Michael, our student Michael might be a little bit upset about the lag that we're experiencing here. 
Playing a character like Bayonetta, whose inputs is so dependent, lag might not be too good. Sorry there. Oh, oh the footstool gets Bayonetta. That was a good footstool by that Luigi. And wait, it, this really I is Mr. Luigi. L here. Mr. What do you mean? Oh yes. <laughs> Actually, now saying that name. Oh, okay. I there thought we Luigi go. Lost Bayonetta's getting these second. combos she was looking for. Do you think Bayonetta is really good just for combos, would you say? That's like her main purpose here, especially these sliding combos. She can kill at um, top pretty well. She can manage to do it. I think that's what Michael's going to be looking for. Meanwhile, that Luigi wants to deny everything he can. He's really quick on across the stage here, surprisingly so. We'll see how good his ledge guarding is. He knows how to recover. Oh. Seems like oh my man, Mr. L, Mr. <laughs> Luigi has seemed like the upper hand here. The obvious, obvious upper hand. Definitely in the lead. I think the problem is this Bayonetta is looking for stuff a little bit too fancy, and this Luigi is able to easily counter it. He's speaking of being too little, too fancy, and you saw some pretty fancy moves right there. <laughs> I think this Bayonetta needs to stop doing stuff so fancy and low and some like smash attacks. Get those big. Demon Fist coming out of the void. There's another death there. This is tough. Oh, a little lag there. <laughs> it seems like Bayonetta used that to advantage. Even was it. it it wasn't even a lag switch, and he it to the advantage. Pretty good recovery there for Bayonetta. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got some funny commentary here in the back. Oh, man. At this point, we need to get a little microphone in the back so we can hear it. It's back room. It's I think one of the hardest things to do in a match like this is keep up the positive feelings <laughs> as you go through oh. it. Oh, my. It's yeah. And are we looking at a clean wipe? It could be. This and Luigi is very PHS good. In favor. Ooh. Ooh. Nice All right, Bayonetta. Oh, can I get the fancy combo in? Come on. Oh, dang. That is a complete wash, just as you said. What? That was a complete wipe. Yeah. This Luigi was very good and knew what he was doing. His teammates imagine, weren't bad either. Imagine if we had a Luigi, our Luigi versus this Luigi. That yeah. would be a game to watch. <laughs> that would have been pretty fun to watch for sure. Yeah. The, the, two different play styles, like I said. Um, our Luigi was looking for a lot of um, kind of like more forward smashes and those up specials. This Luigi yeah. wasn't looking for an up special at all. Really knew how to ledge guard and like kind of punish. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, I just blanked out for yeah. a second. My bad. Kind of eyes glazed over watching that match. It was kind of painful to watch that happen to that Bayonetta. Yeah. To be honest, I never liked Bayonetta as a character too much. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Like, what? <laughs> we got some communication errors about communication. the arenas here. We oh, have to recreate no. the arena now. We're posting up. And we have some bakery in the back, but still. <laughs> Smash Brothers causes quite a bit of frustration. You ever hear about the uh, memes with um, Mario Party rooting friendships? Oh, yes. <laughs> I imagine I mean, Smash Brothers can do something a little bit me, similar. It ruining partnerships between, or t uh, friendships in, for partners. So while we're waiting for this arena to come up, I got a fun story. Um, do you ever played much Mario Party games? Or I've never played Mario Party. You never played Mario Party. Oh, okay. So I, I've seen, <laughs> but I've seen a lot of them on YouTube, yeah. and it's fun to watch. Um, have it in the background. It's been since the first game. There's like uh, they do. Um, you can it's a setting you can turn on. It's on by default. You get uh, like stars at the end for mm -hmm. completing some goals that are hidden to yeah, you. The most, time like the most unluckiest player. Yeah, or, something like that. Like we run the lines on the most red spaces and all that kind of stuff. So it gives the ending a little bit of mystery sometimes, especially if the game's close. I was playing Mario Party, I think it was 10, might have, might have been 9, it was on the Wii U, and um, that game didn't have stars, it just had star bits, um, but it was towards the end, and uh, I was 
playing with a buddy of mine, playing against two AIs, played a long game too, probably two hours, and we were neck and neck. We were beating the AIs a little bit, I think, so it was kind of me between me and him. We played like the final match, the uh, final mini game, because that was a cool addition on that one. Had the hidden things, we're like, and it dropped, like it's doing like who came, who came in fourth, who came in third, and it's getting really close. We're like, we're both there. We're like, oh man, who's gonna win? We've been, we've dedicated hours into this. And it stops, and it says you are both the superstars. And I've, I like the odds of that happening with how that game is scored. And it was just frustrating, more frustrating than actually losing would have been. Were you going against your friend? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was one of my friends, right. and when I was playing, I thought you were trying to beat an AI. No, no, and beat no. Him to a pole. That was that's what made it worse. Like it would have been like I would have been happy if you at least you won, but we got a tie, so now no one's happy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Yep, yep. We got our student Michael Kira that wants to commentate. He was the bayonet in the last match. Bro, I fought a competitive player. I don't want to hear it. I, I fought a competitive player. I don't want to hear it. Well, that's until I find out. Now we have Michael here. We have a Pichu versus a Me Brawler. Any any sense? Any two cents on this? So, the thing about me, Brawler, is it's all dependent on, like, moves that they run. Mm -hmm. So, like, with our member Felipe, uh, ooh, the lag. The member Felipe, he really uses his combos to his advantage and is able to get stocks really early by that. This me, Brawler, seems like he's going for the shield break setups and just is choosing whatever, like, he wants. I've never seen a Pichu ever in a game. It would be fun to watch. Oh my gosh. Um, Pichu being so small, he falls out of the Mii Brawler's moves. It Ooh. just seems to be um, that Pichu is going to end up being at the disadvantage in the end, only because it, it seems like they're getting less moves off, and the Mii Brawler just hits so hard that Pichu is going to die really early. Yeah, and like, Pichu is smaller, so that means he's much lighter. Yeah, character. Pichu is the lightest character in the game. Yeah. The lag coming into play. There's no well, I wish there was more we could do about that. Yeah, but so many people on the internet may, mm -hmm. makes it. Pichu surprisingly so. surviving there. I at 133, so one good hit from me, brother, and that's that's it for. Pichu. Well, another factor of like him having all that damage is all like every electric attack he does take forces himself to do damage to himself. Uh oh. So, so it's like a double-edged sword. His electric attacks are really good, but they do. It, it ends up hurting him in the long it run. It comes too. at a cost. Lag switch conveniently or something. It's but during that last game, uh, last game you were in, how, what what was your what, what was it being that game? Hmm? Was were you angry about that one game you played just now? Oh no, <laughs> I realized as soon as who it was, I was kind of at a loss. Uh, so the rules of this league don't allow me to play at my best because I don't have my best character. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, me, and Mr., uh, me and Mr. Fletcher uh, mentioned that that you can't, that you guys can't use DLCs at all. Only certain maps can be used. Yeah, so it's, it was really just I was at a loss because I don't think that that player is known competitively in in like actual like competitive Smash in tournaments. And um, the struggle is for me is that like not having my main. Mm -hmm. Who I focus on the most time with, yeah, really doesn't allow me to play at my best. If if, if there was DLCs allowed, then it'd be a very different conversation. Would yes, you say. very different I, conversation. I still think he might have been able to pull it out, but the game would have been a lot closer. Yeah, neck and neck, you would say. Oh, it's four to four. Oh, that's the Pichu is catching him with these unexpected moves. Ooh. The Mii Brawler coming down and almost killing Pichu off the side. Ooh. But Pichu is able to recover fully charged that side B. That's and is able to take the sock. Well, that would... Oh. Uh. Mii Brawler not yet being able to retaliate, but he's Ow. back on stage. The Mii Brawler is just going for moves that the Pichu so might not expect. Well, so every electric attack usually does two damage. This should be a death? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that move is pretty strong, and yeah. but the issue with it is that you can shield it. So like, with a lot of moves that Felipe uses, it focuses on the Mii Brawler's mobility. So like, his side B is able to like fling him across the stage while also being it almost acts like an aerial dash attack. It's uh -huh. super good. Okay. While his down B is acting like Zero Suit Samus's flip uh, flip jump.
which allows him to get out of situations that might otherwise be very threatening to the Mii Brawler. This Mii Brawler is hoping that he's not put into those situations and that he's able to capitalize on the other player's mistakes. The Pichu right there catching the uh, Mii Brawler with the Thunder, uh, able to knock him out below 100%. Yeah, was... this is a very neck and neck game. Forwarder. Ooh. That one hit of down smash is able to connect. The Pichu is just able to take center stage, and the Mii Brawler is struggling to find a way back on. Yeah, Pichu does. Uh, didn't you agree earlier that Pichu does have the mobility advantage in this situation, right? Because uh, Pichu being the lighter character. Yeah, Pichu is very mobile. I mean, if you just take a look at his recovery options and like the, his speed, it, it's the biggest trait about this character is his mobility and his combos. They're so lethal. Oh! Oh, almost being able to catch him with that double thunder, but unfortunately, he, Jimmy Roller was able to slip out. Yeah. But he does get the revenge kill with the down smash. I think Pichu's gonna come out with the victory here. If it comes out, be we're sorry. only at 52 seconds left. All the Pichu has to do is stay in the back, but he seems like he wants to take the game. Because even though maybe sitting back might be the safer option, taking the game does offer more points in this yeah. situation. With these banter rules, even. But there are the only 37 seconds left on the clock, so. so at this point, I think Pichu. It might be should. a little more difficult, but if the Mi Brawler keeps playing the way he is, the Pichu actually might be able to pull it off. Ooh, Ooh, misses that. Barely missing the up B. Now I think Pichu should run out the Pichu clock. Pichu Thunder. Here. One more time, but it was able to miss. Forward smash, sending him off stage, almost getting that kill. I, I think Pichu needs to run out the clock a little bit here if you want if they want a chance here because Pichu is oh, at 102. Barely missing the opportunity for a punish there. Oh, oh does the Pichu die here? It does. This is gonna lead it's us sudden in sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden death of Pichu and her me brawler. Oh, whoever gets the first hit. Oh, Pichu's able to get it. Pichu gets the win right off the bat. That was a game to watch. Uh, that was a fun game to watch, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Mm. It was very, um, how do I put it? Intriguing. Unexpected. <laughs> yeah, very unexpected. And that was my first ever game watch, seeing a Pichu ever in a game, so it was very fun to watch. Pichu, surprisingly, is, so, and is the other iteration Pichu was in, Melee, he was considered one of the worst characters in the game. And at the beginning of this game, he was uncontested the best character in the game. Showed the best results. He hit really hard. But as the medic progressed and the Pichu nerfs hit, he did fall off quite a bit, especially with his counterpart Pikachu become, becoming the best character in the game. Yeah. Uh, not anymore, unfortunately, but Pichu hasn't seen much use recently, but I still think he's like a niche, underrated character that people yeah. don't really look out for that much. Next up, we have our Belmont is, player. Is that a DLC? So Belmont basically focuses on the traps. And with what they can Wait, do with... Isn't Richter a DLC character? No. Oh, I thought he was. No. Um, Simon and Belmont mainly focus on their traps with their projectiles, like their uh, side special, neutral special, and down special. Um, what they want to do is they want to take advantage of the situations that they put their opponent in with, like, ledge trapping where basically it, they find it a struggle to get back on the stage. And that's how they build up most of their damage and kills. Because uh, specifically in this situation, Simon has more range. Well, it seems like the same Mii Brawler is up now. Uh, so we already see Valeria uh, trying to set up her uh, optimal situation. Oh! Unexpected moment there. Wasn't able to capitalize off of it, though. Ooh. So she wants to kind of get on her own side of the stage and just sit there. Set up her traps and make sure just wall out the opponent. That is what Simon is. While it may not be like at a, at a glance it may not be the most interesting style of gameplay, it's always interesting once you look into it a little more deeply on the decisions that the people that are able to make. Unfortunately Valeria does um, get knocked out first. So she is having to play from behind, which allows the plan th that she has in place. It doesn't have as much effect, but maybe she'll be able to come back. Yeah, totally. 
Uh, but you, like you said, it's not. Uh, you set your traps, and you said that's not the most flashiest ways. I think you said. Mm -hmm. But it, it probably is very effective. What you're saying, these traps. It's like, okay, so like my um, my looking at it, like I, I look at it from a competitive side of view, and like it, it's always so interesting to see. Like I'm going to place this move here to cover these options. So like. Let's say, for instance, she places the fire right at the ledge. Mm -hmm. That fire covers neutral getup, getup attack, and she's able to cover other options with like her boomerang or her holy, holy cross or her whip. And I think that's pretty cool to watch because like, if you see it, it does take a lot of planning and setup. And I always like to appreciate that kind yeah. of style of gameplay. Yeah, have you seen that? That that would be something to very much appreciate. Oh, gets a heavy S smash there. Oh! It's a cross. It's a combo. If we got another TV with a major lag. But I think this is going to be in Mii Brawler's favor of a game. I, I think as the, sets, or as the game progresses, Valeria should be able to adapt to uh, the Mii Brawler's playstyle. Oh, it's able to catch that side B with the uh, axe. So now she needs to get into her spot and she needs to set up. Yeah. That is her main plan right now. Is able to catch the air dodge down air into another neutral B. Oh, uh, barely able to miss the uh, follow up with the F smash. That was a nice combo. Is able to get said. it right there. The lag is starting to dis Ooh, disrupt her combos nice a little bit. Fire. These combos coming from Richter is very, very intriguing. Oh. She just hasn't been hit in the past 30 seconds. It's that been really impressive to watch. I have not seen that. Oh, oh but that does send her up. She need, she does need to be careful with this Mii Brawler. Another bad thing about Mii Brawler is as soon as he touches you, it might be bad news. Because he, yeah. he does have like a lot of 0 to 60, 0 to death combos. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean there. Oh, someone just comped Okay, it, we're just waiting. Unfortunately, Smash does not have the best netcode of all the fighting games. It's been it's pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. The netcode? Yeah, the lag is very much there. Oh, isn't... He seems... He's oh. really high. Oh, he gets all the hits from the down B. The combos from Richter are, are something, to, something to watch here. These combos. Placing at the fire and the... Cross. Oh. The Mii Brawler is now just camping. As he got the lead, I mean, he doesn't really have to approach. And that's what's pretty difficult about playing a character like Richter is that once you lose the lead, it's hard to get it back. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's just really difficult. Oh! Like really big stutter here. Unfortunately. Oh, oh my gosh! He's dead at 45! She's dead at 45! Oh that no! Was, that was something to watch there. Oh my. Oh, how unfortunate. We got a little slow mo in that whole situation, but. Oh, she just can't seem to get the kill. Ooh. Finally gets it, but at what cost? She yeah. already lost the stock really early. Yeah. I don't know if she'll be able to bring it back. Yeah, 53 seconds left, and. It seems like this is a me brawler's favor, sadly. Because with Richter, it's like you have to play the slow game. Yeah. It's really difficult to get those incredibly quick kills because you have to just do traps. But then a character like me brawler, he kind of just like benefits off of this rule set because sometimes he can kill you in like three seconds. Yeah. T totally. Same thing with Luigi. Luigi also has that same factor where he all he needs is a grab. And he can take you from 0 to 80, 0 to death. Yeah. Wow. At some point. That is something to watch. Oh! Now run Wait, out the she clock. has 20 seconds. Run out the clock. Run the clock. Get it in a... Oh, come on! All she needs to do is run the clock. Barely is able to recover there. Oh, that side B. Oh, almost not killing. We have 10 seconds on the clock. Yes! She's setting up her traps. Not getting him a chance to get in. Three. Oh, she! Oh, she runs the clock. That would have killed. This is excellent for her. This is best case scenario. Oh, she's able to get it. Oh 
Oh my, that was a Both game game. Game's coming to sudden death. Oh. Now that was. All these the games have been very interesting and fun to watch. And by close call, coming too. down to the last second, and that's <laughs> oh. literally. That has got my heart going for sure. Oh my. Something I noticed about this team is that this this group of three that we have all play like interesting. Like interesting characters. Cast, yeah. Look yeah. at it as interesting. <laughs> and with interesting, that that could it's considered different. That's um, can be considered unpredictable. And who knows? Because now we have that. a DDD player coming up. Yeah. We don't. Well, we don't know if we have a DDD. Can't really show characters off too. My opinions have never been really high on DDD. He's another one of those trap characters, but his trap you cannot back in Gordo. And yeah. I've always considered him a low tier. Yeah. So he does struggle in a lot of the matchups that have been coming up. If this is another, if this is the same, oh, it's a Meta Knight cannon matchup. Hey, they fight in their game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Unfortunately, though, I do think Meta Knight does win this matchup. Yeah, because Meta Knight does have those good combos that can be to advantage. Him. And DDD, not for his benefit, is large. Yeah, but he is a heavy hitting character, like one of the heavy hitting characters. But he's also very oh flowy my gosh, too. Lag. At the same time. Yeah. One second. Okay, so we have a post game interview coming up. Nice to meet you, I'm Carter, and and what's your name? My name's Valeria. Valeria. And after that game, how, how do you feel from that, seeing that? Right now, I feel, like, really nervous. Like, I'm just, like, shaking. Yeah. Because, like, that was really intense. That was very close, and that I enjoyed watching. That was a very fun game to watch. Nice job on the traps and the, Thank you. the boomerang. Those. And now into this game, who do you think is going to win? In, your opinion? in my opinion, I... I really want King DDD to win. Like, I think he has that potential to like really, like, go in there and just take out all the stocks. Yeah. Uh, but also, Meta Knight has those nice combos that can really use that as an upper hand, like that right there. So I don't know much about this game, so I, it's <laughs> kind of hard for me to fill in these gaps. Oh, and convenient lag, and we saw that with your game. There, there's a lot of lag that was. Very convenient at some points for them. Uh huh. The lag, there is a lot of it, but at some points it really helped to like see what, like where your opponent can go. But it's really bad whenever you're trying to like attack and you're just waiting for that moment. And you're and also you're one of the new people to the Deer Park Esports, right? Mm -hmm. I just joined this year. Yeah, great, great job on the tryouts. Thank you. I, I, sadly, I didn't see you at all during the trial, so I didn't get to see how you play, so mm. I wouldn't have much information to see and give. Uh, so, let me ask, you're like, you're a junior? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore. Yeah. And, you just, and you're beating some people who are senior, probably seniors in high school, juniors in high school, and you're over here a sophomore. Yeah, I'm a sophomore. Tail. I still have a long way to go, though. Yeah. Hopefully, as the years goes on, you as esports goes on, you you'll be there and you can help out the new people. Come on. Yeah, of course. Oh. 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 Almost a failed recovery. This lag is terrible to <laughs> watch. Ooh, nice little hit there from Meta Knight. Oh, wrong direction. The lag is really bad in this yeah. game. King DD at 157, one good hit from Meta Knight will send him flying for sure. There we go, oh. he takes the stock. DD is a head. In this consideration, who is DD the heavy, more heavy hitting character? Yeah, he's, he's definitely more of a heavy character. Yeah, more of a heavy hitting character. But Meta Knight is also very floaty too, like a very floaty character. He can move yeah. around decently. Ooh. Oh, and there's that combo to bring Meta Knight uh, DD down. And who who do you think is pl who's playing D to D? Uh, D to D. Uh, Landon Truitt. Landon Truitt playing D to D. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen him play in a, few, uh, a couple couple times in the morning. He he's pretty good. Yeah, he's actually like really really good. Well, this lag. What it's, is this? <laughs> it's really really bad. Oh. 
when someone unplugs the routers, <laughs> boop, 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 <laughs> the sweet dream song comes up and just, you have a quick silver moment where you do everything you want and boom, it happens. <laughs> and oh. You can hear in the background <laughs> Landon, Landon, Landon singing. Great singing, I would say. Great singing. <laughs> <laughs> but I really think uh, King DDD really has that potential to like win really this game. Yeah, right win. Oh, there we go. Man and I being at a heavy percentage, one good smash that could send him flying probably. Good thing he dodged out of that combo. Oh, oh. and gets right back into another combo. And another one. Wow. Oh, there and he, he nails that projectile. Oh. He missed the projectile again. Oh. This Met Meta Knight is being very, very good with this aerial attack, would you say? One good hit from DDD, and that's it. Stock oh, down. still on. There he goes. There we go. There's that stock we want to see it on. We're rooting for Deer Park like usual, so that's who we are. <laughs> yep. If you can't tell by the background we have in here, so. Um. And also, this is your, from looks like this is your first game, first game on the stream, so. Yeah, this is. That game you saw, we we saw you play. This is the first time we see you on stream, so. Yeah. And we have a, and people are watching. We always have a YouTube, but so if you come back later on the YouTube, you can probably watch the old streams and see how you dominated that game. It, the sudden death was very worrying. Yeah, that part scared me the most because I wasn't sure like what was gonna happen or what he was gonna do. Yeah, but luckily you were able to get that that attack in right at the right moment. I think a rapid jab from Meatball would definitely gotten you out of there. Yeah. Oh, one, three to one stocks. Uh, and that's, that's it. That's game. And that was a game to watch, wouldn't you say? I have to go. You have to go? Yeah, I have to go. Well, this is Valeria. Valeria, is it? Yeah. It was a joy having you here, and I hope you have a great day. All right. Thank you. You too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. Mr. Fletcher. And Mr. Mr. Fletcher's back. Hi. And from watching, from you being not away from the camera and watching these games, what what was your opinion on this? Uh, that last match was painful. Um, yeah. Even the, I mean, the, the Richter and, um, and Meat Fighter match was also kind of painful. Uh, these were two of our newest players, though. Yeah. So as much as painful as it was, it was very nice to watch. Yeah, it was very fun to watch and interesting. But is, was that uh, the people of the other team? Was that their final game? Is that their final game? I'm guessing. Yes, yes. I think we're all gamed out here. I don't think anyone's actually playing. Oh, we had Alexis playing. Oh, that's, uh, but that's got three on three. That's a three stock game. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Alexis just, oh, that's well, Gabriel playing online. Oh, people call okay. the same when they wear glasses to me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this being it, this might be the end of the stream. I'm your ho I'm your co uh, host, Donut, and my co host, Mr. Fletcher. Hi. <laughs> and we hope you have a great day. Yep. And um, so we will be streaming Rocket League on Tuesday and then Smash on Thursday. Yeah. Um, like usual. Yeah, usual schedule there. You, you'll see my face again on Tuesday. So, <laughs> so every there, everyone there, everyone at home. Hope you have a great day. Yep. And 